But I think the biggest thing that people see with forgiveness, they, they, they think it's a sign of weakness because, man, if, you know, if this person does something wrong to me and I don't retaliate, that just shows that I'm weak. Is that is what people think? When in actuality, that's probably the the hardest thing to do, which is forgive somebody. But it's also the strongest thing and the most beneficial thing for you um, and your family, because it's not just about you when you forgive somebody. Like you said, it, if I were to constantly think about getting back on mother's killer, I wouldn't be the husband I am today. I wouldn't be the father that I am today. I'd still be constantly thinking, how am I gonna uh, get or get revenge on my mother's killer? And it's a great source of strength. It's a great indication of strength to forgive. I was reading in a story where you gave an interview and you um, quoted Proverbs 24, 24 as a favorite verse of yours. And that says, if you faint in the face of adversity, your strength is small. And applied to your story, what you've just been describing, right? You didn't that was hardly fainting in the face of adversity to forgive Dylan Roof. It was strength. And you showed that your strength was not small in doing that. And the thing that, you know, when I heard you as you described it, and I've heard this story before, obviously, um, but when I heard you describe that he wanted to start a race war, the thing that gives me hope, that encourages me about your story, that impresses me about your story, is that he didn't get what he wanted from you. What you're being able to forgive him, right? He wanted to to foment this thing, and you denied him that. That wasn't the reason why you did it. But in in standing on your strength, in 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 following your mother's strength, I read elsewhere where you said, if the roles were reversed, your mom would have forgiven if it was you who was in that church at that day. She would have forgiven the killer as well. Um, you denied him that thing that he said he wanted, and and to me that is both hopeful and, and, and extraordinarily strong of you. It's also the, the exact opposite happened, right? So um, I, I, I love where I live in Charleston. I, I still live here. Um, you know, we've got tons of history, both good and bad, when it comes to slavery that was here. And, you know, I think it was 60 or 70 percent of all slaves came through Charleston at one point. And so there's definitely tons of bad history here. But I'll never forget, after my mom was killed, there were people of all different ethnicities, cultures, backgrounds that were, that were locking arms together. You know, we weren't asking, hey, what did they do to deserve this? Or, you know, what happened before this? Or no, it, there was none of that. We, we locked arms, we marched together, and we said wrong is wrong. Um, and, 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 and hate doesn't have a place here. And so that, I, I absolutely love that. And it's almost as if not only did he not get what he wanted by starting the race war, the opposite happened and we all came together.